Hello everyone, my name is Watafashasko and today's video is a very short one. We're gonna talk about something called kiting and attack move. Or maybe the old schoolers may know it as or walking. I mean, we're talking about Dota 1 times. Well, one of the most common mistakes of new players is that they think this game is a static game. You don't have to move to attack, and of course, rain champions have to stay still while attacking, when it's actually the absolute opposite. The more you move and attack while doing so, the better you're playing this game. If you don't believe me, just go and check whatever Gosu's compilation on YouTube play in vain, and you will see the guide shredding everyone by moving side to side, dodging every single spell they throw at him. In this video, I'm gonna teach you two very common practices that I've learned over the years playing League, and one of my favorites is the or walking technique. So let's begin with attack move. In this technique, we have two possible solutions that might fit you. And I will highly recommend that you get used to both of them before you even think about ranked games. Because probably your attacking habit is so deep into you that you will make every single mistake in the book you can possibly name before you can do it correctly. Probably you are just right clicking your opponent but this may get you a lot of mistakes in the process. So this time we are going to learn about the A key. The A key is set to player attack move, that means that you will start moving to a point but attack the first thing you see in your line of sight and attack range. It doesn't matter if you click anywhere, if there is something to attack, you will attack it. That counts for minions and champions as well, but not on jungle minions unless you attack them first and they will become hostile. In this case, what you want to do when you're fighting some champions instead of clicking right click is to use A before you attack so you can enable your attack mode. And if you misclick, you don't move towards an enemy. Just imagine you're playing against Olaf and then you just suddenly start moving toward him. I mean, you're just dead. So start practicing your attack move that way. Now, this has a downside and that's the fact that if there's a fight and you have a tank champion in front of you and a squishy one somehow near as well, but in the back, you will hit the one in the front first and that's something you must avoid in the given situation. So how do you solve this? Just press the escape key, go to game and enable attack move on cursor. That will make your champion prioritize the one clicking closest to your cursor instead of the first thing you see. This is especially super useful while farming because you won't be hitting just front minions and lose everything you are supposed to farm, like for example the mages. Also, one of the coolest things that you can have enabled for this method is the attack range. This will be shown to you every time you press the A key, and this way you will have better understanding on the range your champion has until you get used to how to control it. Now, allow me to teach you something that few people know and that's the or walking. The most efficient way to kite an opponent is to attack move in an elliptical way. For this, let me change to live comment and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so in order to uh, teach you how this works, I need to open one of the best tools in the, in the world and this is Microsoft Paint. It's gonna be fun, trust me. So, uh, let's say I am uh, blue and my enemy is red, okay? Just like everything in real life. So I'm gonna go for a brush, and this is you, and this is gonna be an enemy, okay? So let's say this is Nidalee or perhaps Lux, okay? If, if uh, in this case Lux, for example, throws at you a Q, you will be dead out of uh, three seconds within the combo that she casts you. So uh, you don't want to do that, okay? If you just go and attack and you do your pew pew thing right here and go straight forward to her, you will be dead, like in a matter of seconds. So what our walking uh, teaches is that you have to move in like, well, the name says in an orb or in this case, a circle, okay? This is like the worst circle ever, but don't worry about it. 
So in this case, in order to for me to attack her, I won't go in a straight line because I'm gonna get caught in here and I'll be dead within three seconds. So what I'm supposed to do in order to attack her is to do this movement. Okay, I'm supposed to do this movement in order to attack while I'm moving and doing attack move as I show you in the video uh, a few minutes ago. So I need to move a little bit do an attack, move a little bit, do an attack, move a little bit, do an attack. So that way I will be, you know, uh, gaining some uh, traction for her. And so she, if she decides to run, I will be somehow gaining a space over her. And I won't be caught to his Q while she tries to hit me. I will be, you know, here when she tries to hit me, I will be here and so on. So that's pretty much the, the way that this works. So what happened if I'm trying to, you know, run? What, what happened if she's actually trying to harass me and I'm trying to get killed? So it's pretty much the same principle. I will do this. Okay, that way I will be moving in this direction that is my safety and I can be attacking while I'm moving. And I will gain some space on her and perhaps I'm gonna, you know, start um, winning the, the fight because she will lose their abilities or whatever. But in the case I'm winning while I'm doing this, I'll just complete the orb and do this. See? And again, I will attack, attack, attack because she decided to, you know, run for her life. And that's pretty much how the how this works. It's pretty much the same on melee as well, but it's a, uh, a little bit different. It's a little bit different because when you are melee, you are attacking pretty much here, but you want to do this, this. Why? Because I will be attacking while I'm doing this. And the main goal when you are melee and you're winning a fight is that you want to position here so you will block the movement of a champion. In this case, this is way harder to avoid a skill shot, but this is much pretty much the same principle. Remember, when you are attacking, you have to do this movement, okay? And if you're running, you do this movement. This is why this is called or walking, okay? Now, let me explain you how this work in a real uh, situation. Well, not in a real situation, in the practice tool, because you will see, as you can see in all the footage you ha I have in the video, you will have a, a little glimpse on how this works, actually. So let's go through the practice tool and I will show you all you need to know. All right, so now I am in the I'm in the Summoner's Rift and I will show you how this works in order to move in the way I told you. Let's say again, this is Nidalee <clears throat> and you are uh, whatever ADC you want to be. I, I just speak Caitlyn because it's easier to demonstrate She's since she has like a re really, really, really long range. See, it's a really big range. So what I want to do if I'm fighting somebody is not, you know, moving like this because by when she moves in this direction I will just miss her completely and if I move in this direction I will be dead so remember what is the what is pretty much the minimum within this and this is doing this okay it just depends on the champion and how how close you can be but it works in the same way again this is Nidalee or whatever champion you are trying to avoid and you have to do this. Okay, so eventually when she starts moving, you will gain traction over her. Okay, again, but in the other side. This is what you want to do. And then you will start to gain traction. If you just go this way and you just go straight forward, you will be dead because it is actually really easy to know where you're gonna be okay this may may be uh, somehow uh, different between uh, whatever champion you're against but you got the point if you start to move in this way you can just go back and try to keep the fight or you will have to gain I don't know some kind of a 
uh, distance between them, but the the thing just keeps going into this direction uh, in any in any case scenario. But try to do this movement, especially when you're fighting one on one, and you know that you're gonna win the team fight. So that's pretty much it. That's what you want to do. And what what if I'm trying to just run? I'll just do this. See, it's pretty much the same. And attack and attack and attack. And that's how or walking works i hope this actually uh helps you a lot in the games i hope you win all the games you have remember please don't forget to subscribe and leave that like and trust me i'm probably missing something in the video so please if i'm missing something if you have any cool tips or whatever uh information can be useful for whoever is watching this video please leave a comment and let us know my name is what the fashasco and i'll see you next time